Rumours a while back told us that Modern Warfare 2 2022 will be coming with a new never done before game mode by Call of Duty and that is named DMZ. This DMZ game mode is just meant to be the exact same as Escape from Tarkov but of course Call of Duty version. If you are someone who doesn't know what Escape from Tarkov is, it's basically a first person shooter where you go in, you loot up, you kill AI and other players if needed and you go to extraction zones with the loot that you found, which is actually a fun game to watch. It's a very ambitious Call of Duty thing or game mode and I'm not sure how the casual Call of Duty players are going to handle this game or even play it at all, let alone the Warzone players. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Marvel, DC, Star Wars and gaming content. I also stream 3 times a week on my Twitch channel, Monday, Tuesday and Thursdays and I post to TikTok and Hover. Links to them will be down in the description below as well. All of this was told to us by a user named The God of Hope and he also tweeted out a list of the DMZ leaks that when Modern Warfare 2 releases the DMZ mode will be in beta at launch and there will be a market place to buy and sell and even trade. You can earn skins, blueprints and more to use in Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer or even Warzone 2 whenever that comes out. There are four maps currently in development which are all very very unique maps. There's also going to be dynamic weather, dynamic day and night cycles as well and there will also be PvP, which is player versus player, and PvE, which is player versus environment, with both offline and online support. This is a huge new game mode that we have never seen Call of Duty do, and the likes of you buying and selling and even trading stuff, how will that actually work? Will it be the same as Warzone is with the buy stations, you gotta have money to buy stuff, you get money from selling stuff as well. The likes of trading skins and blueprints and all that kind of system, even the marketplace system itself, does this mean that players will be going into the game mode, get limited edition items or rare good items that they can only get in that game mode and then sell them on the market making potentially money in game and maybe even in real life as well. If this game mode is done right, we could see this become a staple of Call of Duty just like Warzone is now. And this game mode could allow people to grind in this game mode for weapons slash blueprints or even money. Now, with this game mode, they need to do proximity chat because that's the one main massive thing that Escape from Tarkov has, DayZ have and many many more, Rust as well. All these great games also have this proximity chat and we need it because you just get such amazing stories or storylines or whatever just happen because of this proximity stuff. Also the offline support for this game mode is good for casual players who are sick of getting shit on in multiplayer or even on warzone and just want to chill and play this game mode. And to be honest every day I'm looking at rumors and everything like that and even making this video I'm actually getting really really excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022. I also have it in my mind that this game could potentially be bad and you know as of now I'm like mm, I think this game will be kind of bad. I didn't really like Modern Warfare 2019 and I don't think I like this game either. 